All right, everybody. Welcome. I am trying really hard to get to 1,000 subs. That's definitely like my next goal um, with all of this. So there's a lot of ways that you can engage with the channel and get notified as to when new videos are coming up. Some of those ways are Facebook and Twitter and also Discord. And then if you want to donate because you like the content and want to keep seeing more, there's also PayPal. But that's kind of the idea of getting to a thousand subs. Um, but I just want to thank everybody for watching. And if you are really enjoying this content, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and that's pretty much it. So let's get on to today's video. All right, welcome back to our Minecraft world. Um, we've got a very specific job to do today. Um, I am going to try to get as much um, as much what is it lapis as possible. Um, so we've got some iron cooking in there. That's good. Trying to just find spots to put stuff away if we have enough room. May just have to make another chest, put it somewhere. Where to put it? I can't place it next to the other one. Um, I can put it up here. Yeah. Put stuff away in there. Because I don't need a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm going to... Oops, I need to, oops. <clears throat> need my iron so I can repair it. There we go. Take all that, put that away. Let's get the copper going because that'll get us, get us a bit more experience. All right, so. I did some research and Lapis spawns most at about zero, but it's, um, there's a thing that they added in this called like air exposure. Three, two, one, zero. So, um, like if it's open to air, see there's some right there. Um, you won't find it open to air. You'll find it mostly like just digging through other stone. So we found a bunch already because I have absolutely none. So we're just going to keep on going down this way and hope that we find a bunch of lapis. And if we break into, like, a natural cave, we'll want to get out of there as soon as possible because there won't be any lapis just, like, out exposed to air. It's going to be hidden behind stone. Heck, where'd you come from? Wow, <laughs> wasn't hurt me at all. This is cool. 
tool, just a bit of dirt around. Might come back with a shovel and clear out some of that dirt. So if we just keep going down this way, we should find more lapis. I want to maybe get a couple stacks of it. Like, if the entire episode ends up being us digging for lapis, that's all I really want to accomplish today. It was starting to do, like, oh, you're underground and it's dark music, but then I placed the torch and it stopped. Ah, here we go. Lapis gives you good experience, too. And if we get enough lapis, I may just, um, go try to get levels in, um, in the nether with, like, nether quartz and stuff. Redstone gives us experience, so I'll grab that. I'm just going to go through and see what I can find here to... Just to grab experience and possibly... Um, <clears throat> what am I trying to think of? Uh, coal is another thing that I could use a little bit more of. Keep on going straight from where I was. See, so far we've actually found quite a bit of lapis. So, of course, I set my torch down right where I needed to go. This is pro strat right here. Clear all that gravel really quickly. And then, of course, when our pickaxe starts running out, I'll go back up and repair it. It's getting pretty close. Gonna go back. Though I don't know how much lapis does it actually use up when you enchant stuff. Because I have a full stack and you can only set one stack in there at a time, so maybe I do have enough. And then if I can just go back and... get more later. I could probably just do it that way. Um... Do that. 
that real quick. I only found two coal. Got some gold somewhere too. Yep. That should be good. <coughs> All right. In we go. Just going to try to find... Why is there a bee in here? Gonna try to find lots of uh, quartz. Of course, I spawned in a place where there's darn soul sand everywhere. There's some quartz. There's also gold in places, but I don't know if that gives me experience or not. I don't know if jumping really helps me going through soul sand or not, but I also want to make sure that I can get back. Also, don't want to fall into lava. Okay. Netherrack breaks so easy. Can really just mine it quickly. Level 15. Ooh, okay. I didn't put my gold on, so those guys will attack me if I go near them. Ooh, okay. Gotta be a lot more careful. Because if not, I'll die and lose all of my levels. Especially if I fall into lava. I don't know, I'll have to do some research for the next episode. Really just try to find out where to... Um, where, what's the best elevation to dig for, um, forts? Because it seems like I'm pretty high up. Let's try and go in this way. I think I just spawned in a really 
inopportune biome. I could also look up how to make an experience farm, because I've never done that before. And I know that that's how most people do this. Okay. I haven't seen a fortress. Oh, that gives me experience too. Okay. That's good, actually. That means I can get lots of gold. Very useful. Hmm. Some quartz over there. Build myself a way up over here. I want to get to like level 30. I think that's when you can start getting a lot of the really good enchants. Probably the farther down I can go, the better. There's some back there. I don't know if that's going to stay out. Well, it doesn't take long to break this like that, and that'll probably save my pickaxe. And we'll have lots of quartz to play with probably build my um, EXP farm out of quartz or something. Or at least build something out of quartz. Make myself a big monument or something. There's 20. Hmm. Soul soil, soul sand. It's like the difference between dirt and sand in the overworld. gas, I think. Yep, sure do. It's pretty close. See it, though. fall down there. Uh, 
that, it's okay. Just gotta keep my bearings. Know which direction I'm headed. Zombie pigmen. Regular pigmen. They don't see me. They're piglins, I guess. What they're called? place down here. Careful. I think I'll just keep moving in this direction if I can. bunch of stuff I don't want to fight. still explodes. I don't know what to do. Ugh. I gotta get back. Pretty sure it's in that direction, but how did I? Come down through here? I don't think so. But this is the right direction, I'm pretty sure. I'm not lost. Cause that would suck. Jeez. Where in the heck am I? So I don't think my map works down here. I should have taken my coordinates. Right? That's what I gotta start doing. I'll find my way back and then we'll have to... Should have brought my flint and steel just in case too.
sure I was over here, just down. Maybe. gas was. That's where the piglins were. Right? And I went in there, and I... Pretty sure home is just somewhere in this direction. Ow. Yeah, it's gotta be, because I broke that at some point. Yeah, and I remember that. I remember this. Because I built my way up. Yeah, we're headed back now. Going the right way now. Oops. Ouch. Yeah. There's my portal. I should start going the other direction. It looks like there's a lot of stuff over there. If I can find a safe way to do that. Guests. Oh. There it is. Yep. Sees me. You're supposed to, like, hit their projectiles back at them. But I've never really been good at it. Hmm. It's like getting out that way wouldn't be so bad. And if I can get there safely.
Soon we'll end up in the lava oceans. This is also usually where, um, because my portal's right up there. Might be able to find a fortress this way too, somewhere. Surprised my sword didn't break. It's close. Ah. That kind of tricked me into trying that jump. Got my head doing like a compass thing pointing back to my portal. This looks like there might be a little cave system over here. Nope. It's just a just a dead end. Gold doesn't give you a lot of experience, but it gives you a little bit, so it's worth grabbing. Especially for later on when I need to do trades and stuff. At least I know where there's some piglins. So I went from like level 15 to like 22, that's not bad, but there's not much left. I wish there was a way you could like strip mine down here, but so far I'm in an area where that's not possible. Um, house is this way. I think I want to go back now. I can ride those things down there. If I have a saddle, I can ride them across the lava. Pretty sure this is... Maybe not. Am I lost again? Maybe I lost again. No, I think it's... I think I just gotta go around this thing. I need like soul sand running or whatever that is where you actually end up going faster on soul sand. Almost ended up in that lava pit. This is great. Mm, oh no, I'm lost again. Playing it safe. up this way away from the lava instead of into the lava. Oh god. Figure out where I'm Where I'm going. I'm gonna try to find familiar things. 
That's a bunch of piglins and such over there. Don't want that. Luckily I brought enough food. Is that a... That's part of a fortress, I think. If only I knew... Where am I? Oh. oh god, I was sure I was dead. <sighs> I was 100% sure I was dead. figure out how I get out of here. I need to go back to the overworld. Ow. Oh, there's where I made that bridge. So yeah, I am going the right way. I think I saw a fortress out there, but we're not ready for that yet. No, 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 no. Oh. Out, out, out. Okay. Just keep eating. Come on, put me out. Don't die. Please don't die. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. Okay. I'm gonna make my way back up. Somehow. That was exactly why I don't like the nether. <laughs> oh. oh no. I hear pig noises. heart like dropped when I fell. Once again, 100% sure I was dead. Okay, I'm right over there, so if I can just get around this without falling in again, should be able to get back home. was. Um. Okay. <sighs> the 
nether sucks. I don't like it. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. No, don't go back through. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Should have more gold somewhere. Yep, right there. Bones, arrows. <sighs> oh, I had a little bit of lapis. I'm gonna check something out. Oh, it cost eleven. Does it keep costing more and more to repair them? Or does it just depend on how damaged they are? I'm breaking three. That's not even... But I guess it is only a... Iron... Does it have to be fully repaired to... I guess not. I want like I'm breaking five, don't I? I guess what I really want to enchant is books. Right? And then I can use the enchantment books to put enchantments on them. Piercing four. Efficiency knockback piercing. Efficiency knockback piercing. How do I change it? Do I take the lapis out and then... No. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to do more research on how enchanting works because I'm not good at it because I've never really gotten to this point. So... Yeah, I will have to come back do more of that in the next one. I'm gonna cut this one a little short, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.